It's been really hard. We have lots of kids. The ordeal began yesterday afternoon for Jennifer Graziano. Heavy wet snow weighed down trees and power lines across Sparta Township until finally they reached the breaking point. Lines went down, power went out, and Jennifer reached her breaking point after a night with no heat. We just bundled up in the bed last night together and weathered the storm with lots of blankets and hats and sweaters. <laughs> You don't so, have yeah. you don't have a generator. Or we don't have a generator, you know, unfortunately. So we're just going to head out of state to go stay with family. While the Grazianos piled into the car, the next door neighbors who do have a generator hosted friends and family. You have no heat. So we have nothing right now, no generator or anything. So it's nice. We have them right down the street, and usually, like most storms, when we don't have power, we usually come down here. So we're ready. you're we're camping ready. with the neighbors. That's pretty much what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We call them generator parties. So just come on in. By midday, some 5,000 Sparta residents still struggled without power. JCPNL logged tens of thousands of customers out across the Northwest, mostly Sussex County. Some people reacted angrily. I don't have power. And I, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's stupid. It's really, really stupid. And again, it's not that much snowfall. Maybe seven or eight inches, and it took some digging and blowing to get it all cleared. It's real heavy snow. It's really heavy. You can see why it's taken out the power lines. Yeah. We were lucky. We have power, but I know I think most of Sparta's out. It's not the amount of snowfall that caused the damage, according to police. When you have a storm that starts off with ice, and then the snow follows, and then it follows with a little more ice, as you can see what it does to the uh, trees and what it does to all the power lines. We sort of knew that it was going to be a problem just because of the ice. Tree crews blocked off roads, unable to clear out downed and shredded limbs while the power lines remained hot. JCPNL said it's sending 186 crews from outside territories to handle the chaos in the Sussex area, plus 17 of its own. We found PSE and G trucks staged in downtown Sparta. Meanwhile, people coped. The storm knocked off the top of a cedar tree that landed on a power line leading to Janice Johnson's house. So now I have to wait for the power company to come and restring the wire. Are you stuck in your house? Uh, yeah, because I'm afraid to go out and clean my car off. Governor Murphy, who's currently out of state, tweeted, we're closely monitoring the outages and pressing the utilities to get the lights back on as quickly and safely as possible. Meanwhile, area lawmakers, pointing to recommendations from the Board of Public Utilities, asked Murphy to get behind legislation that would let power companies cut back trees on private property. Senator Steve Oraho said enough is enough. Downed trees are usually the cause of most of these outages, so it makes sense to allow utility companies to trim back branches and vulnerabilities that may threaten electric service. Residents can only hunker down for now. Being alone, it's tough. Um, but you just live with it. Sparta's opened three warming centers at the library, the town hall, and Knollview Senior Center. JCPNL anticipates power could be restored across the area by 11.30 p.m. Thursday night. In Sparta, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.